Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like vlogs, fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So one of my favorite forms of self-care is giving myself a nice, hot, relaxing bath and using some of my favorite body care products by Skin Potion. The newest addition to their signature collection is Kama Sutra Crystal. This is a juicy, aquatic, dewy, and radiant spring summer must have. It's infused with Bulgarian rose, juicy lychee, water lily extract, fresh vetiver, and amber. Kama Sutra Crystal will transport you to a sensual and sunlit vacation while infusing your skin with organic cold pressed sea buckthorn, moringa, acai, rice bran, and avocado oils. Revitalizing body oil has botanical extracts that perform like a body treatment, which can help alleviate skin conditions. Their body oils are my favorite because it just leaves my skin so luxurious, deeply hydrated, and it promotes elasticity, hydration, and radiance. Although Skin Potion products are so potent that you don't need to wear a fragrance with them, that juicy lychee and soft rose pairs so well with so many different fragrances. I'm just so obsessed with how their oils just leaves my skin so glowy and just juicy looking and I smell amazing all day long. The Luminous Body Milk is formulated with silk peptides to create a silky veil on the skin and delivers a luminous glow. It's creamy and luxurious, lightweight, but does not lack on the moisture. It's the perfect texture for the upcoming warm weather if you don't want anything too heavy, but it's still gonna deliver the hydration that your skin needs. All of their products are handcrafted and made to order with ingredients from Brazil, Ghana, Tahiti, Madagascar, and Bulgaria. Now where else are you going to get a body milk that's going to penetrate into your skin, give you that hydration, and leave that radiant glow like this? Now let's get into the Triple Butter Body Butter, which y'all know I cannot get enough of. It's made with mango, kokum, and shea butters that not only moisturize and protect the skin, but it also has a great scent trail and has a skin illumination that can be seen from the moon, girl. I have just about every scent from Skin Potion, from the body butters, the oils, and the body milks. And they are having an exclusive restock for my subscribers right now. So click the link down in the description box and get your Skin Potion body care. You will not be disappointed, honey. They are the best in the business. I absolutely love them. And as you can see, no matter what product you purchase, your skin is going to love it and look beautiful. Special thanks to Skin Potion for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Okay, y'all, so I'm laying here finally watching the reunion for Love is Blind. And y'all said it was so good, so I can't wait to see what's about to happen. When I did the recap of the season in my last vlog, y'all was y'all was loving that. I mean, of course, especially the people that watch Love is Blind. But some of y'all don't even watch Love is Blind. Y'all was like, girl, we need more reviews because I don't even watch that show. And you made me feel like I watched the whole show. So, yeah, but we got to definitely do more recaps for sure. Jeremy is such a square. Like, he is so corny. Ugh, I do not like him. Watch it be... I knew it was gonna be that bitch Sarah Ann. I knew it. Oh, half a hoe. Mm-mm. She looked cute though. Ugh. Ooh, she a dirty dog. But guess what? How you get a man is how you gonna lose a man. So you want to take her little man and do all that little cute shit. Somebody's gonna take your man. Maybe not because he corny and he's very not much so not attractive, but girl. Somebody gonna come grab his ass because he he ain't no good. He ain't no faithful man. He gonna cheat on Sarah Ann after a while. They already fighting and fussing. They only been together for a year. Oh, they talk about they been on and off for a year. Like, so y'all just playing around. Because if y'all done been off and on and it's just the first year, like, what the fuck? Laura look cute. She said, honey, I'm in Barcelona working, honey. I don't have time for their shit. Oh, that's right. Johnny and Amy is so cute. Look at girl. Do you, okay, remember on the last vlog I told y'all Jimmy looked like Fire Marshal Bill. I'm gonna find a picture of Fire Marshal Bill, but I swear every time you see Jimmy, like he just like this, like, <laughs> big goofball. Fire Marshal Bill looking so can't even close. I would hate to be somebody. I love my lips, y'all. I swear, cause I would hate to be somebody that don't got no lips and you can't even close your mouth. You just like this all day cause you ain't got no lips. Like, girl, get out of here. How 
I bet you don't talk to any of the women in the group, Sarah Ann. Don't nobody want to be your, be your friend. You liable to sleep with they man. Oh, huzzy. Cause he picked who he picked and you can't, ooh, I can't stand her. The mullet man, Trevor. Here come Trevor. Look at Trevor looking like a broke down Wolverine. Like he is <laughs> a mess. He looked like a big goofy. Not the picnic table shirt. Mm -mm. He's taking hair out of his beard and everything, trying to fill that hairline in or get them hair transplanted, whatever he is doing. But he already got hair, so I don't know what I don't know how much hair he probably really want to be Wolverine. I think he want to be Wolverine because what the fuck is you doing, Trevor? How hairy is you trying to be? Not Trevor having a girlfriend at the same time he was on here. Uh uh. Oh, they got the receipts, baby. They got the receipts with the text messages. But the text messages do seem kind of gappy, like they just putting on there what they want to put on there. It ain't really... Yeah, I don't know. Chelsea done seen Trevor twice. What? Where you see Trevor at? What was you doing? She was. She probably been screwing Trevor, knowing Chelsea. She a little horn basket. Trevor seemed a little slow. Like, like he ain't got all the... Everything ain't firing off up there right. He a little, I don't know, maybe he nervous or something, but he can't even really talk. It's not articulate at all. I think he still wants Chelsea, though. We don't want to talk to Sarah Ann no more. We, it's next, we don't even care what she has to say, actually. Right, like don't go on the show if you're really not trying to go through the experiment and exp and have the experience and really meet somebody. Like some of y'all just on here playing, y'all on here for the fame, and that's messed up. Cause that's messed. Like he said, it's messed up for the audience. It's messed up for, um, the, you know, it's and it's messed up for the people that, cause somebody else could have took their space. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody else could have took Trevor's spot that really wanted to find love. Like. Girl, they ain't finna be pissing me off on this show. Girl, Clay and AD. Let me tell y'all something about Clay. This man, he know he. You could tell he knows how to interview well. He knows how to say stuff and what to say, but he really just be deflecting. He really just. Mm, and I oh, uh, and AD loves him so much, but I know that's right, girl. Like, move around because he is a mess. And he's so like, I just knew I wasn't, I, you know, I, I didn't know if I was going to show up for you every day. And I, he be using so many freaking excuses. Like, and he talking about he used to be an athlete or whatever. So he come from this rock star life. So basically he used to have girls all on him and liking him and all of that. So he's not ready to leave that life. So just say that, which he kind of did say that at the end, at the end though. So that's what it was with Clay, but at the end of the day, like you can live that rock star life as long as you want to. But when your ass is old and decrepit, and I ain't even gonna say old and decrepit. See, they young now. They everything still, girl. Being single in your forties is not the end of the world or nothing bad. But I'm just saying, like he's going to. What I'm trying to say is, he is going to regret. Well, he already regret playing ad because you was just dumb bro like that was just dumb he's definitely regretting not staying with her like even his friends and other people probably been like boy you was so damn stupid he definitely was i'm not the guy that deserves love and marriage get your ass out of here you just wanted to be a hoe still that's all he want to do he ain't ready to be married because he still want to be a hoe just say that, Clay. I still want to be a hoe. Ugh, he get on my nerves. I've been doing therapy. Like, we don't feel sorry for you. You need therapy, bro. You need therapy because you was retarded for that. Like, you was dumb. You were real dumb for playing her.
Okay, AD came out with the nipple covers on. Like, give me body. Give me body. No, that's right, girl. Now, I know that men wear their suits a little more fitted now, which I actually like a man that has a fitted suit on. The big baggy old Steve Harvey suits. Please, don't, please, no more at all. But, Clay, your water is real high. Like, your pants, legs is definitely way too. They ain't cut that quite right for the sit down part. Like, because. Uh, that shit look like knickerbockers a little bit like that shit is cut real short tie crooked mm, let me quit picking him apart because i'm mad at him you had your chance and you blew it yeah he one of them men when i when you in my face i love you but when i'm outside i'm outside you know what i'm saying when i'm outside i'm outside so i i might cheat is what he's saying he wants us to feel sorry for him so bad about this going to therapy shit. Like, therapy is a regular thing now. Everybody's in therapy, bro. We don't feel sorry for you. Shit, we all probably need therapy. Shit, I probably need some too. I did look up that better help though to see. Girl, they want $90 a week. I'm like, even though I know I probably spend $90 a week on bullshit, but that ain't the point. Why? Well, I should be able to use my insurance to pay better help. Shit. I think I need some therapy. But do I really need therapy or is therapy just trending? No, I feel like at this point in my life, I might need to. I might need to. Especially with my dad being gone. Like, because, you know, I used to be able to call my dad and we just talk about real life, grown life shit. You know what I'm saying? And now he gone. So it's like, uh, even though I could always talk to my man, I talk to him all the time. But y'all know what I mean when you want to talk to somebody other than your partner. If that makes sense. And you want to talk to somebody who don't even know you can't judge you. You can just get it out. and You know. Let me keep watching. Is Ken going to say he gay, child? That conversation between Clay's mom and dad was good. It looked like the dad finally realized, like, fool. You was a, you was a good father, but you wasn't a good husband. Cheating on that woman all them years. And then, and it's one thing to cheat on your spouse, but you taking the kids with you? How ghetto is that? That's real ghetto and trifling. Don't be taking your kids with you to go cheat. Yeah, let that hit home for you, Clay. She said she didn't want to be your mom at the end of the day because that's what she would have been, being with you. She would have been with a man cheating on her for the whole freaking relationship. Okay, so I understand that people come from broken households i came from a broken household i had a dad but not a mom so mine was kind of vice versa than most people but if you see the other parent that's not there or the parent that's doing wrong because the bottom line is you know right from wrong right if you see them doing something that you know isn't right why are you like oh i'm scared i don't want to do that why don't you be like oh i ain't gonna do that you know what i'm saying like, mm -hmm. I just feel like he keep using that, but I don't know. I don't know. Everybody else, everybody's experience is different. Maybe I'm just different because with my mom not being there, like seeing how she was as a mom made me make sure that I was a great mom. You know what I'm saying? I, well, I'm calling myself a great mom. I guess we would have to ask my kids that, but you know what I mean? Like I made sure I was a good mother for my kids are always there for them with them protecting and providing and everything a mother nurturing and everything a mother is supposed to do which is everything i did not have from a mother you know what i'm saying had all that great stuff for my dad but it's a different type of nurturing and love from the other parent right so yeah like i made sure i was that for my kids i wasn't like oh well you know my mom wasn't shit so i'm not gonna be shit either like you know what i'm saying but I ain't just saying my mom was shit. I'm just saying, like, she had her issues that she had to deal with, you know. And it was best that she didn't have her children with her while she did it, I guess. I heard you good with them soft lips. Yeah, you know, word of mouth. The square root of 69 is a something. Right? Cause I've been trying to work it out. Ah, uh, go. White wine. Uh, I come alive in the nighttime. Yeah. 
Okay, away we go Only thing we have on is the radio oh, Let it play Say you gotta leave, but I know you wanna stay You just waiting on the traffic jam to finish, girl The things that we could do in 20 minutes, girl Say my name, say my name Wear it out It's getting hot, crack a window, air it out I can get you through a mighty long day Soon as you go, the text that I write is gonna say Another day, another bonnet. <laughs> no, seriously, like, girl, people be saying they want real and relatable content. It's gonna get no more real and relatable than this. So, I, uh, this is what it is. It is what it is. But, no, uh, I know we've been in the house a lot lately and haven't been doing too much. And it'll get better. <laughs> We go on vacation next week, so we'll have some more fun. But I'm really trying to get used to just really filming my daily life, even though I don't be doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be doing nothing really to the weekend. And I'm just trying to get more comfortable with just filming my everyday life. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't necessarily, like, walk around my whole house with my camera all day. For one, I'm working. And for two, like, that is very, very private. I'm a private person too, but he's like way more private than me. Y'all, if y'all ever buy these, buy black. Because I don't know what it is about these things. Like, they get dirty so fast. And I haven't been wearing makeup. I mean, of course I wear skincare, but these get dirty so fast. And I find myself having to clean them so often. And it's annoying. So I would never buy this color again. I would just get black because, girl, even though you eventually going to have to clean them too. But these, I feel like I have to clean every other day. And now I got to clean them again. But, yeah, he like a real private person. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? He's not a social media person. He's not, you know, he's just a private person. And he always has been a private person. And I'm a private person too. But he like way more private than me. And I understand, like, I get it, like. Even though I wouldn't be walking around this house with y'all anyway. Because I don't even like this house, girl. I mean, I'm blessed to have a house and live in a house and all of that. But I'm just saying, like, I can't wait till we move. But anyway. um, 
but I get it too because I watch people's vlogs, girl, and I know every inch of their house. Like I know where the front door, back door, garage, where their kids sleep. Like I can literally, literally just walk around their whole house. You know what I'm saying? Because they always, you know, vlog in their house and they walk around their house with their camera and, you know, I I feel like I live there too. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that he, you know, he don't want that, and you have to respect that when you are with somebody that's a private person or they want their privacy my son is very private he doesn't like to take pictures he's just real chill laid back low key he don't want you know what i'm saying same thing with dad like that's why y'all never see him in the camera he's just not a camera person like he just is not so you have to respect the people that you you know live with when you do want to create content and all of that so y'all get the same pretty much the same rooms in the house but of course we're gonna go outside too so y'all gonna see the bathroom, the kitchen, the uh, Diego's room. Um, he's sitting right there, honey. Um, did y'all see how he was trying to fight? I'm mean, fighting me while I was trying to work out. He just be in the way, like this is my room. Get out. He know my Peloton is in there. I have to come in here to work out, or at least be motivated to work out, y'all. Woo, honey, that that working out. It's like, so y'all know how they be talking about show up as the woman you want to be and you know the woman you want to be you have to show up as her every day and strive to be like that and girl i'm trying it's hard though like i want to be a workout girly i don't necessarily want to be a gym girly but i do want to like incorporate working out on a regular basis in my life and eventually get in the gym on a more regular basis but girl trying to be the woman you want to be <laughs> it ain't easy it ain't easy at all I've been working on what I've been trying to eat. I've been trying to eat a little cleaner. Not on the weekend though. Mm -mm. No ma'am. Not on the weekend. I eat what I want then. But during the week I've been trying to eat a little cleaner. I mean. I don't know how clean this bagel is. But it's good as hell. <laughs> Girl. I was never really into everything bagels. But I just recently started eating them. And I was like. Damn. Damn. I see why everybody like these with that garden vegetable cream cheese. Mm, mm, mm. So good. And I don't toast my bagels. I like my bagels soft. I don't like my bagels hard. I never really liked them toasted. I never really liked toast. Mm, mm. That must be coming from when you grow up with not a lot. You know, y'all. That bread get hard. You don't want to eat it. You know what I'm saying? I never liked toast either. It just reminded me of old hard bread. And I don't want to. I don't want no parts. Mm -mm. Got my ice coffee. Y'all. It's so good. It's so good. My stomach has been doing really well. Even though I don't drink it every day. I probably drink coffee like twice a week. <laughs> or maybe three times if I'm feeling fancy. But no, I just gotta be like in the mood to drink it. And just want to drink it. But I still ain't like... I gotta get up in the morning and have my coffee. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't there. Cause I, I actually just drink it for fun. I told y'all that before. I just drink coffee for fun. I think it's snowing again. Oh, I can't do it. I can't wait until we go on vacation. I was looking at the weather. And it said it was gonna be like pretty much 80 degrees the whole time I'm there. But y'all, 80 degrees ain't hot. That's like warm, nice. Like I like it hot. I need 90. 90 degrees but we'll see because it might be that 80 might feel different than 80 here so you never know y'all i found the oatmeal raisin cookies hold on let me show y'all i found them y'all the oatmeal raisin cookies so i ended up going to this store that i rarely ever even go to anyway but i went there because i just was right there in the area and it was close and i was like let me just stop in there grab what i need to grab Cause I actually needed some cream cheese and I went to their bakery section. Bam. That's where they was at. I was like, Oh, twin, where have you been? I was so happy. Now, mind you, I got these cookies. Y'all see how many left? I ain't ate none. Guess who been eating them? Mm -hmm. Dad, you know, dad done ate my cookies. You know, he be snacking on the late night. Y'all, we got to go upstairs um, tonight when I get off because I'm still I'm working. But we got to clean up my beauty room. I told y'all I've been in there. It's a mess. It is a mess. And it's a mess because 
I've just been having so much going on trying to just figure out what I'm doing with my content, figure out um, you know what I'm doing for my trip, like trying to pack and just been kind of all over the place. So it's a mess in there and I need to clean it up. And then when my beauty room is not clean, I don't feel inspired to film. So I need to clean up my beauty room. And I call myself like packing because I'm the type of person like I like to pack a week or two ahead of time and not necessarily be packed, but start packing, like putting stuff in there that I want to go in there. So by the time it's time to go, I got everything. Cause I'm one of them people like, as the time goes on, I think of different things I need to put in there and what I need it for and da da da. I cannot pack last minute. I cannot pack last minute or I forget so much stuff and be stressed out. So, so I call myself packing and I got most of the stuff packed, but now I'm like, hold on, I gotta repack because why I have no drawers no change of clothes none of that in my carry-on what is you doing you know better than that you don't go nowhere without no change of clean underwear and a change of clothes in your carry-on okay because the way these airlines are set up if your bag don't make it girl mm -mm. i can't do that and then I don't even know the people that I'm going with. I, I'm going because my be, it's my best friend's birthday. But it's three other people going and I don't know them. One of the girls I'm familiar with from Instagram. But the other ones I don't know. But ain't nobody going my size. I can't wear nobody's big ass clothes. I I don't know y'all. I can't be wearing y'all clothes. I damn sure ain't wearing nobody's drawers. I don't care who you is. You know what I'm saying? It's So I'm like, ooh, I got to repack because I didn't even put... Me no changes of clothes or nothing in my carry-on. I'm sitting up here so worried about bringing my camera and this and that and the third. Trying to make sure I vlog for y'all. But girl, we ain't going to be doing no vlog we ain't got no clean drawers on man. That ain't, that ain't what we fit to do. Got to get them priorities together now. Uh-uh. So I kind of got to go through and repack. And then I'm one of them people. I overpack every single time. I need options for the day, options for the night. Girl, it's just it's too much. I gotta I gotta slim it down. Gotta slim it down. You might want to bring my perfume bottles. You know, get a little content, you know what I'm saying? And, and I just like the feeling of spraying my bottles. Like decans and travel sprays, it's it's not the same. It's cool when you on the go, but when I'm in dressed in my room. <laughs> I want to spray my bottles, you know what I'm So, speaking of that, so y'all know how, of course, I've been doing perfume content, right? And I can give y'all a list of 10, 20 beginner niche friendly fragrances, right? But I don't know what to get my friend. I don't know what to get her. Of course, I want to get her something niche. Um, of course, I want it to be beginner friendly. But I don't know what she likes. You know what I'm saying? To even try to decide what beginner niche friendly fragrance I should get her. Because I might think it's beginner niche friendly and it smells so good. Da, 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 she might not like it. I don't even know what she like. And I want to ask her what she like because that's going to spoil the whole gift. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to figure it out, though. But, yeah, so we do got to repack because I got to have, you know, the have y'all ever been on vacation and your bag got lost or stolen and or whatever and you ain't never have, like, you didn't get it back or you got it back? Like, like how did y'all, how, how did that process go? Like, how do you go back about even getting your stuff back? Like, I, girl, you talking about stress. But let me quit speaking, uh, even speaking on that because we're going to take that out the universe. Take that out the universe, girl. We just trying to go and have us a good old grand time, okay? Now, as far as I know, I think everybody that's going is in their 40s, I think. My best friend is turning 40, so I'm four years older than her. But I don't know how everybody, old everybody else is. But I hope ain't nobody acting like no grandma. I really hope they ain't, because... I'm ready to go act like Shacey Red. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But I'm ready to go have a good time. But you know what? It really don't matter. 
Excuse me, I'm talking with my mouth full, but I mean, when you go out to eat, don't you talk to people while you're eating? So anyway, um, it really don't even matter how they acting because I'm finna have a good time regardless. But my friend, she's super fun. She's my favorite person to travel with. Like, we have so much fun together. So I don't feel like she would have invited people that's not, like, with the fun. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And she travels a lot. So she's been in so many places, but I don't know if she... I don't know if she's been here or not, but she probably have, girl. I thought I hadn't been on vacation since 2019. And girl, I was swearing by that. I was telling people that and everything. Like, I ain't been on vacation since 2019. But I was looking at my pictures of the last trip me and her went on. And it said 2021. So it's been three years. That makes me feel a little better. This is the price of one. Yeah, but now our kids grown, so they'll tell you if the pizza nasty, nah. So that's why we don't never go there no more. <laughs> what kind of wings is them? These was just oven roasted. I got him barbecue. Oh yeah, you probably like them. They look good though. Yeah, they look good. Y'all got a little cheese fucked up. Y'all got a little cheese fucked up. Got some seasoning. Y'all, so dad went to Little Caesars and got something called Crazy Puffs. Y'all seen these Crazy Puffs? And they like little pizzas like this. Now, mind you, we ain't been to Little Caesars in forever. We used to buy for the kids when they was little because they was the cheap $5 for a large pizza. Have a whole pizza party for the kids. They ain't care, but we can't do that shit no more. But these is new, I guess. Who you seen eat these bags, Chime Time? So yeah, one of the food critic people he be watching said they was all right, so he trying them. You wanna try these shit started? These ones you want to Yeah, with the dad, cause them pepperoni. And your barbecue wings. I don't know if you fucking with some of these wings and all that. I don't know if I ate them. He definitely ain't had them wings since he was little. From Little Caesars. They probably cool though. You finna check it out? Yes. What's the matter? Nothing. Hmm. Diego, ain't nobody giving you nothing. They have the white pops, though. You gonna fuck with Cherry Pepsi? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know he said Pepsi? not at all. <laughs> I got what kind of Pepsi? I should've got something else then. Did you even try the Cherry Pepsi before? Oh, yeah. it probably why well, it tastes like what it tastes like you to you. Yeah. So next time I know just regular. You know he a Coke guy, a Coca Cola guy. Pepsi and Coke about the same. He really kinda don't even like Coca Cola that much no more, do you? You wouldn't drink a cherry coke either? Uh, I would drink a cherry coke. Well that's the same shit. You no, even uh -uh. Try it. people that drink Coca Cola don't fuck with Pepsi and people who <laughs> fuck with Pepsi don't fuck with Coca Cola. They be strong about that. It tastes different. See? I don't know about that. I thought that I liked the Pepsi when I was a kid. I didn't like Coke. I ain't never when liked Coke. Burn my stomach. Lulu liked the Coke. I hated Coke. Cause Auntie Glock liked Coke. But my grandma drunk Pepsi. Auntie uh -huh. Bill and my grandma drunk Pepsi. Mm -hmm. So that's why you guys, like Pepsi. Last Pepsi, Pepsi bottles. Oh yeah. Tiny likes Sprite though. That's his shit. What's your favorite pops, right? These wings are high right here. Oh, plain ginger ale or the cherry or blackberry? Uh, oh, the blackberry, that would be alright. Mm. Well, that's good if your favorite pop is ginger ale. You don't like that burners? No, that's good too. Oh, shit! A teenager that's that like burners? <laughs> That's like real ginger ale, though. It is. Everybody that drink burners, they associated with them being sick, so they don't fuck with it unless they sick. <laughs> Pizza puffs. That's what the fuck they call. Pizza puffs, man. I said Instagram. Instagram be having you trying all type of shit. Everybody on there said it was good. Should have said. 
I just told dad he should be a, a Instagram food critic because he do, he gonna keep it real. He gonna tell you if that shit good or if it's nasty. Who the fuck is you talking to? My people. <laughs> <laughs> like, <"Who?" laughs> I thought you had lost your damn mind. <laughs> Like, let me taste. I don't know about food critic. Diego is the food critic. Everything, everything good to Diego. He can't be no food critic. That's it, boss. Unless it's a vegetable, he ain't fucking with it. Nah, D. All right, y'all. I will see y'all after lunch. Hey, sweet baby. Sorry I did not close out the vlog properly, but I definitely wanted to do that. So thank you so much for watching. That's why you got to watch all the way to the end of the video because you never know who might make an appearance. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.